all right so what's going on youtube how y'all doing today we are going to be or i'm going to be talking about speakers and speaker box and amp setups for our dodge rams so first i'm gonna start off by telling you about the best under the seat box for our dodge rams and th there's this company that's located in louisiana i forgot what part but it's called fox acoustics you can check them out on Google. This is literally, well, I think this is the second biggest box you can buy to go under the seat for your Dodge Ram. So um, I got the 212s and this is a ported box. They make all different type of configurations, whatnot. And then we got the cup holders. This box will require like a, a spacer under the seat because it's so big and thick. Um, you will need to raise up your seat but other than that um it fits pretty good see it's it's pretty thick this isn't your chinese flea market <laughs> ebay or whatever box this is like rhino line or bed line or whatever you want to call it um so in my truck this is what i have i have two alpine type r's they're 3000 watt mat max each and then a thousand watt rms and then i have the ssl um 4000 watt amp pushing it i got i wired both of the 12s down to one ohm i forgot if they're dual four ohm or dual two ohm it's been so long since i did it so um i forgot about that but that's just a little rundown of my truck but right here we have baby little brother big brother really because it's bigger but it's 1500 anyways so we have dennis truck which is my girlfriend's dad he has the same box as me and he's going to put some sundown audio um, dual two ohm, 750 watts RMS. So RMS, if you don't know, that is the continuous rated power that the speakers can handle. When you see 3000 watts uh, max power or max watts, that's only like a five or six second burst of max power that that speaker, speaker can handle. So when you're looking for speakers, look at the rms a speaker might have a thousand watts max but the rms might only be 500 or 450. so right here this is his setup he has a massive setup um what are these re you know what re audio sex okay and then what's the watts on these these are currently i think 600 watts rms okay uh and the the ones we're putting in is 750 rms but those can handle a lot more than 750 rms right so another cool trick about these dodges if you didn't know that back seat if you unhook it this piece will come forward and you can mount your amps on the back like so so he has a massive setup i don't know dd amp i don't know the specs yeah that's a dd m 3b okay it's at one ohm i mean it's 3800 rms mm -hmm. and then at two it's uh it's like 18 and then at four ohm it's really about 800 watt rms so we're trying to get this thing down to, to one, one ohm, ohm right and then control it via the volume and the fast gate that's underneath right so he has a fast gate 360 and then that's for your highs mm -hmm. this is a fast gate the 600 times four p 600 times four okay so yeah and we... the door speakers are all six by nines fast gate yep so he has a massive massive sound setup i'm on a budget but <laughs> but no seriously this box is really a beast of a box um 
it will come in two pieces like this bottom piece you will have to seal it to the bottom and screw it on but i mean it's not too bad it's not too hard so we're gonna swap out these two 12s for the sundowns in there and then we will come back all right so this is a little update we have both speakers in i think the mounting depth on these are 6.5 inches um the mountain depth total for the box i believe is 7.5 7 7.78 7.78 to be exact all the specs for the box as far as the cubes how many like um cubes per per like speaker it has all the specs are on the website so just look at that but anyways we wired these down to dual or these are dual two ohm so we hook both positive to positive negative to negative so these should be running at one ohm right now per per speaker so would that increase the rms right it it doesn't increase the rms if you if you sync them together it's going to be the the same amount of rms it doesn't oh, okay so they're going to be playing at basically 750 rms mm -hmm okay so Possibly. yeah that's that's the that's the update right now so we're just gonna i guess test, test them out <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh also he got this big old sonic phoenix um i want to say it's the 12 inch yes this is the 12 inch screen he had put in it just came with that regular like six or seven inch screen you put that thing in and man it is so nice look at that so he also has upgraded alternator like dual zero gauge wires everywhere let me see if i could show y'all oh no well anyways he has his amps um grounded dual zero dual zero running to the batteries oh let me pop this hood I'm, I'm just dropping all type of gems for this Dodge Ram. Uh, little sound update. All right, so make sure y'all still running. So right now, what you can do is if you have a 1500, you can buy a 2500 or a 3500 battery tray and this allows you to run a second battery but the thing is the factory air box was mounted in this location so you're gonna have to get like a cold air intake basically is what this is in order for this to fit on this side so this is the original um battery tray but all he did was order a 2500 3500 battery tray um for this year though so this is a 19 so he bought it for 2019 2500 so he got both jumped to each other so it's basically like a diesel it is a work in progress so we're going to clean up all this we're just testing stuff out look at that windshield tent that's who put me on that windshield tent oh let's see what she sounds like All right, wait, we're gonna find some music right quick and then I'm gonna put y'all back on. All right, so we have some OG Slim Thug on. Um, we're still like in the process of kind of tuning the system right now. So let's go ahead and press play. <laughs> all right sorry about that that was my girlfriend she came all the way from downstairs i mean from upstairs in the house just to come and scream at us 
because she's working. So she um, that should tell you how loud the system is. We were out here with the doors closed and whatnot. And um, she came out here and started screaming, basically saying, turn it down, whatever. But that's pretty much gonna wrap up this vlog. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all found it informational. And man, that's gonna be it. Peace out.